Hey everybody, this is Deb with Truthification Chronicles, and check out this Breitbart article from the first. A study on state-level gun control laws in the U.S. shows that bans on high-capacity magazines and assault weapons do not lower homicide rates. Oh, isn't that interesting? And this was a study done by Boston University School of Public Health, Michael Siegel, and another listed study author was Harvard gun control advocate David Hemingway. Haha, uh-huh. and he was, you know, a gun control advocate there. The study, The Impact of State Farm Laws on Homicide and Suicide Deaths in the USA, 1991 to 2016, a panel study, isolated four states to study 10 different types of gun control to see if certain gun controls were successful in reducing homicide and or suicide rates. Via their research, they discovered that high-capacity magazine and assault weapons bans do not lower homicide rates. In an interview with Futurity.org, lead study author Michael Spiegel elaborated, although I completely understand the desire to ban assault weapons, I just don't see empirical evidence that such bans have any substantial impact on homicide rates. Hmm, isn't that very interesting? These bans are most often based on characteristics of guns that are not directly tied to their lethality. He observed laws regulating the sale of assault weapons are unlikely to have a large impact on homicide rates because these weapons are used in only a very small portion of homicides. The vast majority of firearm homicides in the United States are committed with handguns. The study Spiegel oversaw also shows researchers discovered changes in household gun ownership were not found to be significantly associated with homicide or suicide rates. This runs 180 degrees counter to the left's incessant claims that a gun in the house puts the homeowner at greater risk. So, thought that was kind of an interesting article there about this particular study that they had. And yeah. That's it. So I think that when they start claiming assault weapons, we need to bring them back to the study that was done because there we are. The proof is there, the empirical proof. And that's what, you know, they're claiming science, science, science on all this climate change stuff, even though they really don't have science behind it, but they claim they do. And they claim that no scientists will stand against it. But yet... You know, when it comes to something like gun studies, they don't want to pay attention to the science there. You know, forget about what the study says. We're going to ban those assault rifles. Yeah. Anyway, and they really are a misnomer when they use the term, quote, assault rifle. Yeah. They don't really know what they're talking about. It's just a big black gun that looks scary. (laughs) Sorry, but that really is it. So there you go. There's another piece of ammunition you have now to go out and to present truth to liberals. So that's what I've got for you today. I want to thank you for stopping by and I'll see you all later. (music) 